Hi, I am Dr. Pratik Chandrani, Assistant Professor and Genomic Scientist from uh, Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. Today I will be talking about molecular uh, therapies for cancer. Uh, molecular tests uh, have been routine part of diagnostics for past few years and the recent development has enabled us to identify DNA change in the cancer patient which is contributing to development of tumor. By identifying such alterations, we also identify the drug which are uh, specifically suitable for the individual patient and uh, that's why it is called uh, personalized therapy. Uh, by personalizing these therapeutic drugs, we ensure that uh, uh, the drug is only inhibiting the tumor and not affecting any healthy part of the body and that gives uh, patient a better chance at survival. That also ensures that there is minimal uh, side effect uh, as the drug is highly specific for the uh, DNA change observed in the tumor. So uh, today I'll give you more detail overview of how this personalized therapy and more molecular diagnostic work and how today uh, we perform this test and uh, use it for uh, cancer therapeutic. So before 1990s, a cancer used to be classified based on the anatomical location in the body. Say for example, if a cancer is coming from breast tissue, we used to call it breast cancer or if it is coming from lung tissue, we used to call it lung cancer. And all the therapies were uh, decided based on anatomical location. If it is on the easily accessible surface, we used to uh, opt for surgery. If it is not in the accessible surface, then uh, we used to not have uh, many of the options uh, in the earlier era. Then after development of chemotherapy and radiotherapy, we started providing these options to uh, submerge the tumors within the body. Then there was uh, uh, 1990s and 2000 era where molecular markers were used to classify tumors uh, in more detailed classification. Say for example, a breast cancer used to uh, be classified into ER positive, uh, PR positive, HER2 positive or triple negative. And all the therapies were used to be decided based on the same. Similarly, for lung cancer, we used to classify uh, adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma based on the molecular markers, say for example, TTF1 positivity uh, or not. And the therapy Therapeutics were used to be decided based on uh, these molecular markers. But in the current era, where we are uh, looking at the molecular alterations within the tumor, it is not really uh, important whether it is coming from breast tissue or a lung tissue, as long as a tumor is mutated by EGFR gene or KRAS gene or ALK, FGFR3 and so and so, we decide therapies based on these molecular markers. So for example, a lung cancer patient mutated with EGFR mutation uh, will be given EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitor and so uh, that patient will receive highly specific drug which is only inhibiting EGFR mutated cell in the body and not any other healthy cell in the body. So in that way, this molecular era enables us to opt for targeted therapies and that enables us to reduce the toxicity and personalize the therapy to the patient as much as possible. So as we have seen, uh, molecularly targeted therapies are becoming more and more standard and uh, molecularly uh, driven diagnostic tests are becoming uh, standard of uh, uh, diagnosis all across the world and uh, uh, with the help of uh, this uh, molecular diagnosis, a patient is uh, able to get advantage of targeted therapies, personalized medicine and this is going to change uh, uh, the future of uh, cancer care and we believe more and more patients should be opting for uh, uh, such tests. Uh, in time to come. So for more such information and uh, informative uh, uh, help uh, regarding lung cancer, please join Lung Connect group and uh, let's all be part of this uh, initiative. Thank you.